FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. You're listening to Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. So, 20th Century Fox is having to apologize after an outdoor ad for X-Men Apocalypse depicted a violent act against a woman. Yes. The ad in Los Angeles, big cities like New York, haven't seen anything here, showed the villain grabbing Mystique, which is Jennifer Lawrence, by the throat. And it shocked actresses like Rose McGowan who took to social media, and so it was a, to to everybody to raise their voices against this kind of violent imagery against women being shown publicly like that. So Fox apologized, and so I'm hoping that Rose now moves on to the <laughs> violent imagery of the Hillary, Bernie Sanders, anarchists who egged the Trump supporter in the face with the woman. I haven't seen any outrage from Rose McGowan and others for an actual real act of violence against a woman. Not that it's any better than it would be against a man, but I don't see that kind of outrage at all. In fact, among some conservative commentators as well as others, I just hear crickets and people who say, well, that's what Donald Trump supporters get. Oh, well, that kind of violence, I haven't seen any real protests against in the media Or otherwise. So, I guess sometimes the fake violence against women is a lot more impactful to actresses like Rose McGowan than real violence against women and anyone. But if you're a Trump supporter, you basically have it coming, according to her. By the way, I have some patience for Bernie Sanders, as you all have been able to uh, ascertain. But the fact of the matter is... This basically just reduces him to just an old, dumb, left-wing lunatic in his depiction in making a political moment out of Muhammad Ali's death here. One of the great American heroes in modern American history was Muhammad Ali, a very proud Muslim. And don't tell us how much you love Muhammad Ali, and yet you're going to be prejudiced against Muslims in this country. And, of course... There is zero evidence that Donald Trump has said anything about Muslims in this country. He has said nothing about them, so it basically renders Bernie Sanders as a fat, big mouth liar. And again, another person, like Hillary, who actually is part of the group of individuals encouraging violence against Trump supporters by portraying Trump as Hitler, as an anti-Muslim, anti-Mexican individual when none of that is absolutely true and so the count bernie sanders again as another person in my opinion who deserves to be in the trash heap of the left-wing lunacy that we're seeing and it's disappointing to see him reach out in this direction i thought he was a little smarter than that but apparently he is just another one of them rob raids <laughs> Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. Yes, indeed. At Rob Raines, stlsportspage.com. How are you, brother? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was talking to somebody yesterday who uh, went downtown for the game in the afternoon. Oh, they didn't get the memo. (laughs) They didn't get the memo. They were like walking around going, I don't see anybody in cardinal shirts and... Nobody really is parking anywhere. (laughs) It's determined that ESPN switched the time of the game. Yeah, you got to pay attention. Those things happen. Well, if I'm looking, if I'm looking at the time of the game, I look on the ticket I have. So if the ticket says one fifteen, I I don't know. You know, where am I going to find it out? Oh, our website, uh, newspaper website, Cardinals website. I, mean, I know. You know. They get a publicized program. I mean, it's not the, you know, I don't blame the Cardinals for that because there's no. nothing they can do because those games are, you know, they times are set for those games before the season starts. And if ESPN or one of the other networks, Fox, wants to change them for a national broadcast, it's, you know, within their contract that they have the right to do that. Yeah, I, I'm uh, with you on that. So how are we doing? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not too worried about the Cardinals, to tell you the truth. 
Well, yeah, I, this, you get two schools of thought. You know, you get the people who look at the standings and say, "Oh my gosh, we're eleven games behind the Cubs or whatever it is right now. How can that possibly be?" And then you get the other school of people, which is you know the one that Mike Matheny and the team I think is in. Is that just you know we're just still trying to find out you know what kind of team we have here, and we know we're a better team than we played to this point, and we think we're going to get there, and you know we'll let the standings and the season kind of play out, and, and then see where we are at the end of the year. So you can kind of take either approach to it. I mean, I think you know you have to call the first third of the season a little bit disappointing simply because you know we're not used to team being 500 at this point or just a couple games over it although you know we have had some recent seasons that were like that and then they did get hot at the end and obviously got into the playoffs and made some things happen so yeah it, you don't have any serious injuries to be concerned with which i think is always a you know factor and when you look at something like that you have guys that you think are going to play better than they played you know, the pitching rotation seems to be doing a little bit better. So I think there are some reasons for, for optimism. You know, they came from behind to beat a good team. You know, the last two nights in San Francisco in the sixth inning, they were behind, you know, both nights and came back and won fifth to sixth inning. So that's those are all positive things trending in the right direction, I think. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you. And then on to the NBA deal. Now, I heard somebody mention in one of the newscasts uh, regarding they use the term dribbling. Uh, now, I don't see NBA players dribbling. I see them walking, carrying the ball, and then <laughs> stuffing it into the net. I never see really any real dribbling in, in NBA basketball. Do you? I Well, I haven't watched anything, <laughs> so I can't really comment on what I've seen or haven't seen, but I do think the game is a lot different than what it used to be. I do think that our, our old school, you and I kind of remember the game as traveling and things like that that used to be called when you took one step without the basketball. Yeah, I don't think they call that anymore. Yeah, I, I, they certainly don't. But anyway, it's fun to watch. I'm I'm a LeBron guy. I'm more on their side on this one. But yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, they should have had Stanley Cup Finals going on, too. And now the Bulls fans are disappointed they didn't get there. But it's been a pretty good game so far. So I think they have uh, Game 4 tonight out in San Jose. So that's that's going on. About about to get both of those uh, fall when the winter sports season is wrapped up, just in time for football to start. Yeah, you know, it's funny because the we had, I think it was the first game in the Stanley Cup Finals, and it was on locally here, uh-huh. and the ratings were horrible. And it appears yeah. that Blues fans are, are, are hockey fans, but once the Blues kind of checked out, St. Louis really didn't watch a whole lot of hockey after that. You know what I mean? Because the yeah, ratings think, were terrible I, here. I think hockey. I think hockey is probably the one sport where you are more. You know, every sport I think has become a regional sport. I think you're a fan of your team, but I think the baseball and football are probably the two that transcend that. I mean, you're going to watch the World Series pretty much no matter who's playing. You're going to watch the Super Bowl no matter who's playing. So, but I think hockey, you're right. I mean, you're watching your team and you don't really care about anybody else. Did you? Uh, well, Denise, you're still watching it though, right? Yeah, I like Pittsburgh. Yeah, so she's rooting for Pittsburgh. Well, it's a minority of people. Is it? <laughs> probably. Are they disliked? No, no, no. I'm saying I think oh. probably most most Blues fans are Blues fans first and foremost and really don't care about anybody else. But right. there are some true hockey fans that are watching it and enjoying it. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Rob. Listen, let's say um, next week. Like, Well, yeah, maybe let me, next hey, Let me give the book a plug real quick. Yeah. I know that's where you're going. I'm going to be at Left Bank Books tonight at 7 o'clock. With uh, Dan O'Neill, the Post Dispatch has got a new book out about the Cardinals as well. We're going to be there together signing uh, signing the book, so we'll uh, hopefully get a nice crowd out there. Oh, groovy! Okay, um, you want to be on TV today? I uh, don't know that I can. Oh, come on! Call me off the air. Call me off the air. All right, I, we'll 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 follow up on that, and and that way we we could even we could even have you on talking about your book. So if you want to do that, but all right. All right, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's Rob Rains on Talk Sports. Thanks, brother. STLSportsPage.com. It's Common Sense Radio. 